It is exciting for the field because it's proof that a cure is possible for HIV, but we always are a bit cautious in this setting because this kind of intervention, a bone marrow transplant, would not be appropriate for people living with HIV. This woman received a bone marrow transplant because she also had a blood cancer that needed to be treated. You need to take antiviral therapy for life. And as soon as you stop that treatment, virus rapidly comes back. So there are many scientists around the world trying to find ways to eliminate that, H, that little bit of virus that persists on treatment. And what this case tells us is that if you can make cells resistant to HIV, you can stop the virus coming back but we will be doing this using different ways than transplantation, which isn't an intervention that could be implemented at scale.